myself says, why am I doing another Dimash reaction? Well, because I've really, really enjoyed listening to him musically. There's a lot going on and there's a lot of you who love it. So my dears, we're going to do another Dimash reaction. Are you excited? Yes, you are. <laughs> Without further ado, we are going to get into this. We're going to listen to Dimash sing Daybreak from Bastao 2017. Thank you so much to the subscriber who suggested this video. This one's for you, my friend. Let's get into it. a gorgeous um, intro. Chills. Oh my gosh, that transition from his lower voice up to his head voice right there, gorgeous. It was like flawless and effortless. It was bringing chills and I was like, oh my gosh, the tears are coming, the tears are coming. Hold it back, Serene. It's okay, calm down. Stamash, you know to expect. He's gonna make you cry. It's all there is to it, it's fine. Those waterfalls are so pretty. Wow. Okay, I have to pause right here. This was so dramatic. Like with the waterfalls, what was happening? It's daybreak right there when it was like stop the waterfalls and then just his voice it got really really like empty there wasn't a lot of backing right there and it was just his voice wow so powerful <laughs> to that note. Nice. It's not the highest he's sung ever at this um, spot, but it's it's so impressive that he's singing so strongly here in his voice. It's fantastic. <laughs> Chills. I feel 
exhausted. I'm like holding my breath with him as he's singing. I'm like, if you don't do that, you know, you're not probably a singer, but singers tend to like hold their breath with whoever's singing and like hold out. Not that they're singing, but they're like, going with them and breathing when they're breathing. You should practice doing that because it is a really interesting exercise. Ah, oh, ah, oh, okay, sorry, we're gonna, we're gonna get the, we're gonna get the ending here. I was like almost at the very ending when I paused just then and like the ending really packs a punch and it was like, wait, I have something to say. Oh my gosh, so emotional, so emotional. We're gonna go back a little bit because I wanna analyze what exactly he did back here because it was so fascinating. So we're gonna go back to, we're gonna go back to 2.45. Okay, pause that hold right there. Ah! It's like so amazing. Loving it, loving it. Super, super bright and forward. It's not one of his like super open, more corally sounds, but it's definitely something that's very bright. Very interesting. Ah! And then we go into kind of a corally sound that he goes into. I have to rewind to go back to this Coralie spot because I'm like, <laughs> like I can't even, I can barely hit it. I, I don't even know, but I can't even hit it. It's fine. I can barely hit it. And I consider myself somebody who is a high note hitter person. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we're gonna go back to 250. Here we go. Right into the choral sound. I love how it goes down here. So, sorry, I'm pausing right before this big, um, Thing that he does here but like he goes down do, 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 ba, do, down to his low voice and oh my gosh it is so oh dare i say the word sensual when he goes from the super high place down to this really low place all of a sudden he grabs you with his voice as he gets lower and more intimate and like all of us are on the edge of our seat going mm -hmm, we're right here with you keep on singing and then what I listened to the first time, I super wanted to comment on, but I rewound because I wanted to go through this section because it's so exciting. Okay, here we go. So sometimes he goes into that really bright place about here and here, right? But then um, that last bit that we listened to was more of that open corally palette lifted sound. And then it was that um, scale that he did from low, higher, 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 going into that chorus. Da, 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 ba, 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 da, da, da. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's listen to that scale one more time if I can. <laughs>
He doesn't end super high, which is fine because he already did the peak of the song and now it's just coming down into the last little bit of just finishing off this gorgeous piece. So such fun. Um, this was a really interesting song to analyze in terms of the different parts of his voice. Even though it was back in 2017, we get a good feel for the brightness that he tends to sing with in that specific range. Um, but then when he gets higher, he kind of opens up that soft palette and really has this beautiful choral type sound coming through. And it's so interesting to hear the different sounds that he has in his voice. And sometimes he could sing with that bright sound in that one specific place, but then other times he could use it in a more corally place. I think some parts of his voice he can do either or and some parts are a little bit more if I get too high I really have to open it up because you can't get too bright that high because eventually you just have to you know open up that soft palette and let out that sound. So such a fun song. Thank you so much for suggesting this song. I love your suggestions. I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up. That is the nicest way to say thank you for doing another reaction video on Total Mash. But then also if you'd like to subscribe I'd love to see you here more on the channel here at Serene Vocal Studio. Oh my dear years. Thank you for the suggestion. It was so fun to listen to him yet again. And I will see you here next time at Serene Vocal Studio. Peace!